Hey there, financial freedom seekers. Welcome back to our channel, where we break down the best books to help you achieve your financial goals. Today, we're diving into the little book of common sense investing by John C. Bogle. If you're looking to make smarter investment decisions, this book is a game changer. Stay tuned for the summary, key takeaways, and how you can apply its principles in real life. You can also read our blog. The link is in the description. If you're ready to make smarter investment decisions and build long-term wealth, the little book of common sense investing is a must read. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to get your copy today. The little book of common sense investing is written by John C. Bogle, the founder of Vanguard Group and the creator of the first index mutual fund. This book is all about the power of low cost index fund investing. Bogle emphasizes that the simplest and most efficient investment strategy is to buy and hold all of the nation's publicly held businesses at very low cost. By doing so, you'll be able to capture their returns over time. Now, let's dive into the key takeaways from this powerful book. Number one, invest in low cost index funds. Bogle argues that high cost act actively managed funds often underperform the market. Instead, he suggests investing in low-cost index funds that track the market. Number two, minimize costs. Expenses and fees can significantly erode your investment returns. Bogle stresses the importance of minimizing costs to maximize your net returns. Number three, stay the course. Investing is a long-term game. Bogle advises sticking with your investment strategy, even during market downturns, to reap the benefits of compounding over time. Now, let's talk about how you can apply these principles in your own life with some real-life examples. Real-life example number one. Imagine you're just starting your career and you decide to invest a portion of your salary in a low-cost index fund. By consistently contributing to your investment and reinvesting your dividends, you'll take advantage of compound growth. Over the years, this simple strategy can grow your wealth significantly. Real-life example two. Another example is minimizing costs. Let's say you have a retirement account with high fees. By switching to a low-cost index fund, you could save thousands of dollars in fees over the years, boosting your overall returns. Real-life example number three. Finally, staying the course is crucial. During the 2008 financial crisis, many investors panicked and sold their stocks at a loss. Those who stayed the course and held onto their index funds not only recovered their losses, but also saw substantial gains in the following years. So. Why should you read The Little Book of Common Sense Investing? Reason one, simplicity. Bogle breaks down complex investing concepts into simple, actionable advice that anyone can follow. Reason two, proven strategy. The principles in this book are backed by decades of research and real world success stories. Reason three, empowerment. By following Bogle's advice, you'll feel more confident and empowered to take control of your financial future. If you're ready to make smarter investment decisions and build long-term wealth, The Little Book of Common Sense Investing is a must-read. Don't forget to check out the link in the description to get your copy today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more book summaries and financial tips, and let us know in the comments which book you want us to cover next. Until next time, happy investing.